by VIG. And uh, yeah, since there was no improvement, they started this plasma exchange, plasmapheresis. It's uh, done by the American Red Cross because it's very rare. What they do is they, they suck all your blood out of your out of your body and filter it through this machine and put in um, lab-made plasma. So the the proteins are sucked out of here. It's, it's like filtering out the trash of your body. And, you know, they have no guarantees that he's even going to show improvement for this. And a lot of people said it just needs to, the syndrome needs to run its course, and then eventually you plateau and start to get better. But <clears throat> we're, we're praying. Yeah. Again, I'm asking the audience to pray for you too, as well, to keep uh, this family in your prayers. Uh, this could happen to anybody. This, but there, but for the grace of God, goes I or you. So we have to keep these people in our prayer. And we should support them, especially once they they get a little GoFundMe set up there. Um, now, uh, I was going. Oh yeah. No wait. This uh, the 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 Giambi syndrome, right? Uh, what is the, the? It's called GBS for short. The GBS, what is the, the, the prognosis on it, like the average is survival rate of, of that uh, syndrome, do you know? Uh, mortality rate's 5 to 6%, so okay. uh, by the grace of God, we have a low, low, very chance of that. However, as far as um, paralysis and longevity of this, we're looking in for uh, at least probably a year before my husband's able to walk again uh, right. with, you know, tons of physical therapy and rehab it's it's not something that you know he's going to get you know discharged from the hospital even if he does see the improvement and we go back to our normal lives i mean it's terrible right but thank god he is young and healthy how old is he uh he's 46 yeah 46 is still young man and he looks very very healthy is there anything else um you want to share with the audience before we go I just want to say, you know, do some research. Uh, these doctors are pushing, you know, that the flu shot is, you know, totally safe. But, you know, it's. I think it's just big money-making scam. And, you know, you need to really open your eyes because, you know, everybody says you don't get sick from the flu shot. I'm, I'm proven evidence that that's totally wrong. So just, you know, think before you do things. Um, it's not as safe as what you think. And my goal is to raise awareness. This could be your family, and you might have a different, you know, a different outlook on this. And if I can avoid it at all possible, I'm going to spread the word, and hopefully nobody has to go do this because it's absolutely miserable. Yeah, the potential risk seems uh, unreasonable. You know, uh, I never get the flu. You know, I'm a healthy guy. I'm 56. Healthy mm-hmm. guy, never get the flu. You get the flu shot? No, I never get the flu shot. Are you kidding me? I don't, okay. go, I don't go to the so doctor either. Here's yeah. one thing. <laughs> Here's one thing that I haven't seen on all this social media exposure and all this. I don't have anybody saying, oh, man, I got the flu shot and I didn't get vaccinated. What you see if you look at all these threads and stuff is people that actually get the flu flu shot and they get flu-like symptoms and they feel horrible or they're hospitalized or, you know, that's the part that people don't know. I have yet to see anybody like, oh, I get the flu shot all the time because, you know, I... I had the flu. No, yeah. I don't see that. And you got all these doctors that are saying that the flu shot's killing people and, you know, everybody's getting sick because they didn't vaccinate. I, I'm not seeing that personally, and I'm not being biased. It's just not happening. Yeah. Well, when, how many t- years do you get the flu, you know, in my lifetime? Maybe once and twice, three times my whole entire I've life? I've never had the flu. Yeah, never, right. And I never got vaccinated yeah. until I was pregnant with my son. And then, you know, this time. And it's, I just, I don't know anybody that's getting you know, getting the flu and saying, okay, I'm going to go next year and get my flu shot because right. that was terrible. It's not happening. It's, it's, it's everybody having all these adverse reactions. And then, you know, you, you have these healthcare professionals that say, you don't get sick from the flu shot. I, I see people sick all the time about the flu shot. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this is Monique Morgan. Her husband is Shane Morgan. They got a little boy. What's your boy's name? Briar. Briar. Briar Shane Morgan. He's Briar, Briar Shane Morgan. And he looks exactly like his daddy. Oh, so we got to keep the same amount of hair. We have to uh, keep them all mm-hmm. in our. <laughs> we have to keep them all in our prayers. But also, too, if you can send some kind of physical support, by the time this airs, we'll have a little link up there to their GoFundMe or or however you can help them out. Keep them in your prayers. And uh, I guess, do you want to leave a contact way? I guess people can contact you through Facebook. Uh, yeah, please contact me on Facebook. 
I have been getting a lot of outreach, but I think, you know, as much help as possible is honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, we both lived healthy lives. This is, this is really absolutely terrible. And my heart aches for my husband. And if you have any, any advice you can share, um, a lot of people said contact legal advice or, yeah. you know, any help whatsoever, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Please look me up. Monique Morgan. Um, you'll see a picture of my son uh, with a sunflower. That's me. I'm from North Las, um, North Las Vegas, Nevada. So, Monique Morgan, thank you so much. And keep us posted. Let us keep us advised of what's going on. We'll put you right back on here with, with an update, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... Uh, his name is Keith Davidson. Uh, I'm going to...